Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. This will be another tutorial, but this time it will be on how to use gesture recognizers. Let's get started. First things first, let's create a blank Xcode project, single view application. You can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this gestures. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to be saving it on my desktop. Alright, I'm going to make this bigger. First things first, let's go to view controller. And now let's work with how to set up a tab gesture first. So what you're going to do is, is really simple. Let's create a regular constant called tab. Let's set this equal to a UI tab gesture recognizer. Open parentheses. Select the first one that pops up right here. Not this one. This one right here that says target and action. The target will be self, which is referring to this view controller. And the action will be a selector, which is the function that will be called when a tab is registered. All right, so what you're gonna do is, is do a number sign or a hashtag, selector, open parentheses, and here we're going to put the name of the function that will be called. But first, we have to create that function first. Now it's complaining here because it's acts, it's complaining that there's nothing in here, but we're gonna do it in a minute. So let's do that now. Let's create a function called uh, tap curd. And here in parentheses, we're going to call this tab, type UI, tab gesture recognizer, uh, open curly braces, and closing curly braces. Now in here, let's just say print uh, screen tap. Now in here, we're going to say view controller dot tap occurred. Now the error should go away. Now, it's no longer red, but it has a yellow triangle symbol. Now, it's telling me that it's, no, it's not being used, so we're going to say view, referring to this view controller, that add gesture recognizer, tap. That's it. That's what you got to do to create a tap gesture recognizer. So, let's run this. I'm going to run this on iPhone 4S. Now, it's loading up. There we go. All right. Now, if I click the screen on the simulator, th this screen tapped should pop up in the console. Ah, and it worked. That's how you know a tap has been recognized. If I keep tapping, it will pop up numerous times. All right, so that's how you declare a tap gesture. Now let's start working on swipe gestures. All right, we'll pause that. I'm going to create another function ahead of time called this swipe occurred. For the swipe, UI, swipe, gesture recognizer, open curly braces, closing curly braces in here, print out, uh, swipe, oh, screen swiped. Now above, let's create a constant called swipe equal, this is almost a similar syntax, is UI, swipe, gesture recognizer, target will be self, and like before, the action will be this right here. I'm just going to copy this over, but except not tap occurred, it's going to be swipe occurred. All right. Now it's complaining once again with the yellow triangle because I'm not, it's not being used, but I'm going to add that to the view right there. But before that, I have to declare what direction this swipe gesture direction is going to be. And this is going to be, let's say, left. All right, that left. Now let's run this again. Now if I swipe left with the mouse, this should pop up in the console. Ah, so it worked. I'm not just clicking, I'm actually swiping. So let's say you clear left. Now if you want to do any other direction, say, let's say right. We run it again. Now if I swipe left, it won't pop up with this in the console because it's set to right. So look, nothing. But if I swipe right, this should pop up instead. That works. Now let's try down. See, now we set it to down. 
Now, if we swipe left or right, it will not register because we set the direction to down. Now, but if we swipe down, this should pop up in the console. As you can see, it's working. Now, we swipe left, nope. Swipe right, nope. Swipe up, nope. Swipe down, worked. Well, if we tap the screen as well, screen tapped. That's pretty much how to use gesture recognizers. I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.